Hi, I'm Lee Iridium. I hope everyone's doing all right today. It's album review time. So FM and 13, the British AOR melodic rock band. So I love this band. I've loved them since Indiscreet, their first album in 86. Absolutely amazing band. This is being released on March the 18th on Frontiers. So once again, thank you very much to Frontiers for sending me this early. Um, obviously, it's called 13. It's the 13th studio album, absolutely titled, obviously. This lineup has been the same now since 2008. So this is a great thing for the band. So consistent over the last few albums. Um, and this album really carries on where the last one left off from two years ago. Um, 11 tracks, 54 minutes and 46 seconds long. So I do run through the guys in the band, um, but like I said, they've been together since 2008 and uh, they sound as tight as ever. So you've got Steve Overland. I mean, I don't think I can ever say enough about him, um, but you know, whenever you're gonna do a review or a reaction to a, an FM song or anything with Steve Overland's voice, You've got to mention, you know, what a great vocal he has. How he's just sustained it all through these years. Um, amazingly, you know, kept it. Even sometimes sounds even stronger than he did way back when. Matured, you know, into this brilliant soulful vocal. Always had a soulful voice, even at a young age. But sort of just matured and so controlled. Can still hit some amazing heights. Just the best in the business, really. Absolutely fantastic vocalist. You've got Merv Goldsworthy on the bass. I think he's been with them from the beginning as well. Absolutely amazing bass guitarist. Just keeps it really tight. And obviously, been doing it all these years, you know, playing with the same band. Just an amazing uh, bass guitarist. And you've got Pete Jupp as well on the drums. Those two are just honed in together so well. Some excellent um, bass and drum work on this album. You've got Jem Davis on the keys. I've got to say, I really enjoy the synths on this album. Um, anyone who knows me knows I'm not a massive synth fan, but you know, that's when it's done on the harder edge sort of metal stuff. When you're talking an AOR melodic rock band like FM, synths are one of the most important things about it. And they bring a, a brilliant... Um, side to this band which i absolutely love in fact some of the synth work on this really feels reminiscent of their first couple of albums you know it really hones that 80s sort of sound I'm, i apologize about saying the 80s too much but you know this band come from that era and you know i a couple of my favorite albums from this band are from that era you know the first two especially tough it out and indiscreet i just think they're just amazing classic aor albums and I think the last couple of um, releases from FN have sort of, if you like, touched upon those more than their sort of 90s and 2000s periods, if you like. And then you've got Jim Kirkpatrick on the guitar. Just really busy uh, on the guitar. Like I said, they really balance it well, guitar and keys, this band, as an AOR melodic rock band should do. He's a brilliant guitarist. He's got that sort of bluesy edge to him sometimes in some of the tracks. And sometimes it's just pure, real melodic um, melody lines throughout and great riffing as well. So a fantastic guitarist. So, I mean, this is this is cool, this listening to this album, because um, I've just recently reviewed the Scorpions album, the new Scorpions one, and had said how much they've touched upon their past in, you know, on the recording of the album, the songwriting I think that could go for FM as well. But they had been heading, for me, more in their original um, way they sounded back in the 80s anyway, because they went through more of a bluesy stage. I've got to say, I prefer the AOR melodic rock side to them than the bluesy side, although um, I like the bluesy side as well. I just prefer the AOR melodic rock side. I think Steve Overland likes to get his blues side out, you know, that sort of um, itch maybe that he wants to scratch with the Overland project. You know, that is full sort of near enough all bluesy stuff. Um, so for me, because I just prefer the AOR melodic rock side, you now I wish FM would just stick to that totally. But I've got to say on this album, 
Um, I think apart from one, I'll say one track that felt really bluesy, the, some of the ones that have got bluesy side also mix it really well with the AOR and melodic rock. So I would call it more AOR melodic rock. I think they're slowly um, turning into that band again, the AOR melodic rock band that they are, that they're brilliant at. So this is a great album, guys, and a real, you know, they're so consistent, this band. I think they're one of Frontier's best bands, without a doubt. Um, absolutely fantastic. And, you know, to top it all with Steve Overland's soulful, just amazing vocal. Any band that's got Steve Overland or any project that's got Steve Overland singing for them will enhance it tenfold. So going to talk about the tracks um there's quite a few to talk about my favorite tracks so we've got the first track is is one of my favorites um shaking the tree what a great opening track this is i really get that tough it out feel album vibes here there's a real arena rock anthemic stompy feel to this one i love the real 80s infused simps on this one they as they work their way throughout the track it's really clear that you know the band's intent for me um, to capture that sort of 80s side with some sort of modern elements as well. The next track I want to talk about is the single Waiting on Love. This was the first single, pure AOR, the only way FM can do it to tell you the truth, beautifully um, gliding along, driven by the cool bass line, melodic clean guitar, and those absolutely lush backing vocals, just so infectious. The next track I want to talk about is Turn This Car Around. This is the latest single. Whoa, I gotta turn this car A great melodic rock track again, that's really upbeat, there's a really cool chuggy guitar parts going through this, sort of hand in hand with some brilliant cool tinkering piano parts as well. A great whoa whoa chorus, like FM do so well. One of the many sort of, I, would, I call them driving songs, you know, in your car, just driving along, this blasting out, absolutely fantastic. The next song I want to talk about is Love and War. A little bit of a southern rock feel right at the beginning on this track. Um, and that really suits Steve Overland's vocal. It just, just sounds amazing on this one. Then the song becomes another sort of great melodic rock track. Um, their bluesy side is explored a little bit on here, as I said at the beginning, but only slightly as they mix their sort of melodic rock side too. The next track I want to talk about is Long Road Home. Overland puts in such a heartfelt, soulful performance on this one. He does throughout. But like when there's a ballad, which this one is, it's even more special. For me, they explore their southern rock side again here um, with acoustic guitar and piano taking the forefront in this great ballad. Great touches of lead guitar in and out of this track as well by Kirkpatrick. He's an amazing guitarist and he's sort of um, almost understated sometimes, but in a good way. Absolutely fantastic. The next track I want to talk about is Just Got Started. The 80s feel is back here with a vengeance with a great synth stroke guitar infused track that would have fitted perfectly again on those first two albums by this band. The stomping groove this band has is, is absolutely fantastic. And having their per them perfect vocal lines over this song just makes for perfect melodic rock. The next track I want to talk about is Fight Fire With Fire. Not the Metallica cover, as you might expect, but a great track nonetheless those simple hung out riffs with overland's vocals over them in that in the verses sort of gives an almost 80s soundtrack synth vibe it's absolutely gorgeous there's another chorus that sort of harks back to their earlier roots i suppose this band are just the perfect example to other bands of how you create music you know in the melodic rock aor genre that is just so classy it's a brilliant track and the last track I want to talk about is Be True To Yourself. This is the last track on the album. There's some stop-start riffs, uh, which once again, uh, get some great synth work going on with those and sort of hand in hand. Um, and I'll tell you, my ears pricked up as soon as this one came on. I just fell in love with this track. 
loving the backing vocals in this one they are just outstanding and so important you know to this type of band aor melodic rock catchy you know if you want to call it commercial whatever you want to call it you just need those brilliant Def Leppard-esque backing vocals and they're all over this song again this feels almost like a soundtrack sort of song amazing stuff fm produce an amazing album again their 13th studio album and i've had some you know i think they're more consistently bringing out albums now than they did you know all them years ago they're knocking one out every couple of years plus the extra work that overland does as well in between they're very busy touring all the time and it shows you know becoming a great live band also makes you a great studio uh, band and it sort of gives a togetherness and especially being together since 2008 this lineup it really shows it really does this is a brilliant album guys if you love fm if you love what they've done so far you're gonna love this it's just pure class aor melodic rock thanks for listening guys let me know if you're gonna get this album and i'll see you next time